Today I got a Aspire M5 series laptop. I gotta fix that. Broken USB port and the power switch. Hey guys, what's up? Dale here. Uh, today I got a quick little video I'm gonna do. It's a uh, on an Acer Aspire M5 series touchscreen laptop. Um, <clears throat> it's got a broken USB port and the power switch. Is, it still works, barely, but it's kind of pushed back in. Um, the customer had a USB printer cable plugged into this and it mushed up all the pins and it broke the plastic here a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about that, but I will try to glue it once all is said and done and see if I can get a little super glue on there to keep it kind of flush. Um, so we have to get inside to see what's going on. So I'm not even going to turn it on right now anyway. Um, I, I've already taken out all the screws. There's a lot of screws. Uh, they're all the same length so it doesn't matter which one goes back into which hole. It's pretty straightforward but there are a crap ton of them along the back, the hinges. They have good reinforcement around the hinges here so that's a good thing. Um, so having done all that um, I'm going to take my little plastic spudger tool and just get right inside. But before I do that real quick, this is what I have to put in there. This is the new, it's a little I.O. board. Uh, it has the USB port and the power switch. So we're going to try and replace that and see what's going on. Take my spudger tool. These, once you get these started, it's not too bad, but we have to get into the seam here where the black meets the gray with our plastic spudger tool and kind of carefully work it up going to try to avoid the broken plastic area here with my spudger. I don't want to make it worse if at all possible. But you can see there's some physical damage along on here. Um, so let me get my tool in here. Get it open so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a very tight fit. Just going to run along the front here. Get it cracking and popping. It's a good thing. Once we get it started, it should pull up without too much trouble. I had actually had this laptop open not too long ago before they broke it, put a new solid state drive in it, but you can see it pretty much just kind of should just wiggle up here. Don't want to force it though. Get Mr. Spudger here. Be careful poking in there. You got speakers on each side. Don't go in, <clears throat> but you can see it comes right off. Not too much difficulty, that's all intact. Um, but like I said, you got speakers here. Boom, boom, so be careful of that. There's a new Western Digital SATA SSD we put in here. So, let's see. Okay, over here is where we're gonna be working. This is the I.O. board, kind of underneath a lot of stuff here. But before I get into any of that, guys, I have to disconnect the battery, because I have to remove a bunch of stuff. Right here is the battery where it connects into the main board. Right here we just got to pull it back out of the slot here so to speak. Just going to get a hold of it and it comes right out quite easily. I'm going to push that power button in a couple times if I can. Alright, so did that. Um, there's, let me do a quick, see if I can zoom in a little bit for you here. Right over here is the I.O. board. The connector goes underneath here, underneath this fan over here and connects to the motherboard. So there's a bunch of cable, two cables here. One for the DC jack on the back. We're gonna unplug that. And this one is for the screen, the screen connector right here. We're gonna carefully pull this up and then undo that okay hopefully you can see that all right so so let me make sure you guys can still see here <clears throat> where am I at here we go um there's let me grab my marker here there's two Phillips screws here we'll mark them with our little sharpie here I'm gonna put a little mark here so you know which holes they go back in because these these two threader holes are for the screws for the hold the bottom on. So I have to undo those two little guys here. Okay, so guys, I'm going to do this kind of quick. 
but it is taking it does take some finagling to get get this under there because this this metal piece here again I'm going to show you this whole metal piece here is all one well, where are we at here Dale I forgot I was zoomed in <laughs> all right this guy right here is all one piece it's kind of part of the hinge um, assembly um, it doesn't pull up we have to kind of pull it up a little bit so we can finagle this IO board out from underneath of it and hopefully get the new one in there hopefully there's one screw here holding the little IO board in with the USB port and the power switch on it you can see that I can never get that right okay so uh, I have to fish these out of here you zoom back out a little bit. I just want to make sure you see everything. I'm not going to worry about that drive. I have to take out, show you this little fan doohickey here. There's two screws for that. They're pretty straightforward. We have to get all this out of the way so we can route that cable for that I.O. board. just really tight quarters in here so I'm gonna lift this up hopefully get that little guy right out of the way here it only goes back in one way but you can see how the cable runs along under here and it connects to the motherboard right here this black cable right there so let me go ahead and I'm gonna disconnect it from the motherboard I know it's not the best camera angle, guys, but I'm doing the best I can. Now it's going to be stuck to the bottom there because that's all sticky, which is good. <clears throat> There's one screw here for that little I.O. board. It's right there. You can't miss it. When you take out the fan, the screws stay right in the, the little... Well, actually, it's not a fan. It's just it's like an air duct that directs the the air so all right we got that out now this guy here uh, we had, like I said we have to take out these two screws that I marked earlier with the little sharpie so now we have to kind of carefully gently pry this up not too far because you don't want to break off the plastic back here I'm going to see if I finagle that out of here hopefully just like that there's there's the one that's got the USB pins that are all buggered up inside there they're just an awful shape none of them are touching each other it's a surprise but he managed to break it good um, so let's take our new one here and see if we can finagle it back in there without breaking it I'm just gonna try to get under this metal bracket hopefully Oh, look at that. It fell right into place. Just want to make sure it's connected. I hate to get it all back together and not have it be connected. So let me get my little screw. So I can screw it back down. Uh, make sure it gets into place good. I have to check that, guys. See how everything lines up. Boy, you really did a number on that switch. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to get interruptions. It's just been one of those afternoons. All right, so I got the screw in. I got the I.O. board. Now I got to get this underneath here. My bad. I should have did that first. Just like that. I'm going to try to run it in the same track the other one was. Get it hooked up back to the motherboard. These are a little tricky sometimes, but nah, I got to turn it here. No, you can't see it. Sorry, but these are pretty simple once you get it in the hole. Ah, Dale. Come on. Don't be difficult. <laughs> you dirty dog. Then line that back up in there. Ah, 
crack inside. There we go. All right. So we got that hooked up. We got that mounted back in there. I'm going to carefully push this back down. <clears throat> Put our two screws back in the holes that I marked with the little Sharpie there. I'm using a number zero Phillips screwdriver and as with all my videos I always remind people make sure you're protected against static discharge when you're inside use an ESD wristband and, or mat both just make sure you're protected against static discharge I am here so I don't ever have to worry about it um, before I plug those back in I gotta put our little doohickey back in and then reroute these cables and this only goes in one way I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in. Looks like a fan, but it's just an air duct. Draws, I think, air from underneath the board here. Boom, comes out over here. Here's the actual cooling pan over on this side. It's an older model, obviously. Um, they've taken really good care of it. So now we just got to finagle these back in through the little track down here. Get these plugged back in, they only go in one way. Let's see, this one's gonna go over here. It's gonna go under here. I know you can't see it guys, I'm sorry, but I just gotta get it done. And of course, these never go back in the way they're supposed to. Sorry about my big fat head. This, I think this one's actually gotta go in first. careful how hard you pinch and push on these you don't want to booger them out that would suck excuse my language and this one's going to go around and underneath and through here so I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in that's for the DC charging port in the back here this one I'm plugging in right here the white one ah, he's only going one way And we're going to hook Mr. Monitor, Mr. Screen back up. Now these are very fragile, these connectors here, so you just got to line it up good. We start reefing on it. Make sure it goes down all the way, which it did. Alright, so we got our two screws back in. We got our new I.O. board in right here by my thumb. Got our cables rerouted there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug Mr. Battery back in. Fan's nice and clean. I think I cleaned it out last time it was in here. Alright, if you plug that battery in, be careful. Don't touch anything if you don't have to. But I got to get this back on it right away so I don't drop my toolbox in there. Been one of those days. Ugh. And hopefully the USB works on the power switch before I dip it all the way down there. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna snug everything up just yet. I just want to make sure we got a connection with our switch here. Yes, it powered right on. You can see it's powering right on. Uh, so I'm gonna let it boot up there all the way, guys. And, oh, what was that? password I don't think I got it talking to myself <laughs> oh great remind me in three days all right let me grab I think I got one right here trusty my Corsair USB flash drive And it works. So we got our USB port fixed. Uh, got power switch, I.O. board, all working good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. I'm gonna button this all back up, of course, put all the screws back in it as soon as I shut it down. And I'm gonna see what I can do about getting some super glue. If you look 
kind of closer, like I said, this plastic is kind of broke a little bit at the bottom. If I broke right off this little piece here, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I think I can get that glued in there, kind of clamp it, make it look pretty. All right, guys, that's all I got today. I appreciate you watching. Give me a like if you liked it. You can give me a sub. That would be awesome if you loved it. Check out more of my videos. Thanks for watching. Have a super day.